Hello, my name is Deepak and I am a graduate student at University of Minnesota Plant Pathology Department, meaning that I study diseases of plants and crop plants especially. And my specialty is nematology or study of nematodes. Now, nematodes, yes, I know. You must be curious about nematodes and that is why you click this link. Well, I'm here to tell you about what nematodes are and even more. The main nematode problem of Minnesota is soybean cyst nematode, and I will get to that. It's a kind of nematode, but there are different kinds of nematodes, several of them, lots and lots of them. But before all that, I would like to tell you what nematodes are. So nematodes are animals. Is it like a dog? Cat? Could be. Yes, it is. But there's one difference. You need a microscope to study what they are. They're tiny, tiny animals. They're microscopic. Unless you have a microscope, you can't really see them. So they are animals, but they're really tiny animals. Two, they're very primitive, meaning that they're thought to be one of the oldest originating animals on this planet. They are so old, they're so, so old that they might be older than dinosaurs, but they have still survived. Three, they are abundant. It is thought that for every single human being living on the planet right now, which itself is a huge population, there are 57 million nematodes. So you can think of how big a number that is. Four, they're multicellular. So now, let's take a step back and say what multicellular means. A cell. All organisms are made of a cell. You might have learned in your high school or even middle school biology what a cell is made of. You would have drawn some squares or rectangles or circles and then those organelles inside it and then used your pencil to make that noise to make all those uh, dots and other impressions on it. So that is a cell. So there are single cell organisms like bacteria and amoeba and they're multicellular organisms. And as animals, animals are usually made of more than one cell. And nematode is no exception. So it is a multicellular organism. So when we have so many different cells, these cells will group together to form organs and specialize. For example, the heart is made of cells, but those cells are different from the cells that make up your eye. So these are different kinds of cells, and those are organs. And different organs combine together to form the organ systems, like the reproductive system, the digestive system, the muscular system, and so on and so forth. Nematodes also have those systems, except they don't have a skeleton, some insects which they are related to, insects are also animals by the way, have exoskeleton, meaning that they have a hard skeleton outside, but nematodes don't have them. Nematodes also do not have a full range nervous system. They have some neurons, but they don't have nervous system. But other than that, they are still animals, they are multicellular, and they are animals. And they don't have a mu muscular or skeletal system that is well defined as other animals. They have some muscle fibers, but they use their skin and the water pressure to move around. So in summary, these nematodes are tiny little organisms or animals which are multicellular and they are very old and they live everywhere around us and they are so many in number.